Hello Internet friends, my name is Kai and tonight we're going to review the music from Men in Great Sweat and it's a dynamic uh, musical duo composed of the brothers Terry and Todd uh, McMahon uh, known for their unique sound and poignant lyrics uh, they have carved a niche for themselves in the music industry their debut album Men in Great Sweat uh, The Bulge highlights their creative synergy and musical prowess. Released in 2024, this album captures the essence of their acoustic journey, addressing life's trials and triumphs with depth and authenticity. So yeah, it's a it's an album that we're going to review. We're going to review six songs, but the album is uh, even longer. Um, we're going to start uh, with this song called To Whom It May Concern. Um, I don't know about the style. This is my first time listening to them. So I think this is going to be a surprise and that's make it even funnier. So I'm going to grab my trusty headphones and let's give it a listen. This isn't the easiest way to say what I needed to say. All I know is that I need to tell you right now. Before it's too late I'm sorry that I didn't know You were home alone in pain All I know is that I'm here To tell you I'm here now Cause I know you hate it Fucking hate him 
this was a really nice intro to the album and i think it sets like the style that we're going to listen it sounds really indie but beautiful so organic but professionally recorded it sounds clean and organic but organic like i was uh, saying i love the vocals for sure uh, uh, the guitar sounds uh, beautiful but uh, goes really well with the vocals i absolutely love that so yeah it's a great start uh, for the album so no complaints so far i'm really liking it uh, let's go to the second song uh, inside your room and yeah i really like this one uh, beautiful vocals by the way probably the only thing that i will add but that's just me like get, mm, getting ideas the random ideas is like an extra vocal layer f doing some harmonies will be interesting to add to the depth or dimension of the song but it's not necessary it's just an idea right weird idea that i got but yeah really beautiful vocals uh, absolutely uh, let's go uh, with our second song inside your room Your 
this one has the harmonies, the vocal harmonies, so that's amazing, pretty cool. Uh, this was like, uh, oh, they did it. And I'm just listening to the next song, they did my recommendation. But yeah, on this one sounds really perfect. I'm still loving the vocals. Um, I really love the hook of the song, the, the chorus, I can read, it's really catchy, I love that, the electric guitar solo with the overdrive, the tone is like really well done, I love that vintage sound that it has, so yeah, this um, Inside Your Room, uh, I really love this song, really nice, and I really like that it's like, adding more instruments, more variations, and it's not only the acoustic, so that it's going pretty great. So yeah, I'm really liking it so far, pretty cool. So yeah, let's go with our third song, uh, Farewell. This is more like a rock song. Uh, we are uh, getting out a little bit of the more indie sound and getting more uh, a rock vibe, but I love it. 
um, there is a, a doubt that I have, but I'm not pretty sure. I feel like this one, the vocals were a little bit more hidden behind the track and the, the instruments sounded like a, had a, a little bit more of, they were a little bit more present and the vocals were a little bit hidden. But I really like the, the harmonies of the vocals and that little uh, like vintage delay that it has that sounds really nice it's a really nice use of an, of an effect it's not like that exaggerated actually it's pretty minimal but it's there and you can feel it and it's really nice but yeah i feel these uh, vocals are a little bit hidden by the instruments maybe the mix was done by someone different because the mix sounds different from the other tracks and yeah i know that the hardest part for me uh, i think of making an album is not just the concept but also trying to keep all these songs uh, sounding not the same but because the idea is not to repeat the, the same song but to have a consistency especially on audio and mix and mastering I feel it's a little different but it's just me like getting it picky maybe because uh, probably 99.9% .9 of people is not going to notice but yeah I feel they sound a little bit different or that was recorded on another period of time and made it to the album that's the feeling I get but it, it's a nice song <laughs> I really enjoy the song it's just that's just me getting a little bit technical but yeah it's a nice song just that it sounded like a little bit different but on a technical way uh, from an album standpoint and musical standpoint makes sense that it made it to the album and i'm glad that it did but yeah it's just that sound a little bit different for me but it's really nice i really like it um let's go with uh, our fourth song uh, lost in a days Time I'm wide awake It's coming back again I don't want you to wait To see the best in me I never wanted to say Are you going away Or coming with me We belong again I don't want you to fall Into longer dreams I want you Sometimes I stare at the ceiling and cry I don't want you to see that sign Pardon me while you wait Will you be patient? Walking on thin ice I don't want you to see that sign And I like to paint the dawn The weather grays It's coming back again Day 
Once you come around and you see the lightning Start to fade away Don't get lost in a daze I found in me I finally feel like myself again And how does it feel? And how do you feel today? When it's all the same in a different way And I like to paint the dawn the weather grays It's coming back again I don't want you to wait to see the light fall away Into the days again I don't want you to say Just know your place I don't want you to be here If you do not stay I want you I'm loving the album so far, really nice vocals overall on all that I've been listening to, it hits the notes perfectly. Uh, the only maybe little complaint that I'm going to have, and it's not a complaint actually, it's just that something that I felt but I'm not really sure maybe on my monitors is going to react different instead of the headphones, is like when the electric guitars enter with that as like, whoa, and I start with the distortion sounds a little bit strong, like the gain is a little bit high, but it's just that, just a little bit, not something that it is going to break the song for me, actually it's a really nice song, like all the album that, uh, that I've listened, to, all the songs that I've listened to the album, so it's uh, really nice. Um, the sound is more consistent with Firewall, like the thing that I was talking, that I feel is a little bit darker on sound, but is not something that is going to break the album. It actually sounds great. I really still love the, the uh, electric guitars and the the vocals and everything sounds pretty organic. So, and also not only organic, but also professional. And I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying it so far. So yeah, we have uh, two songs uh, left for this review, but don't forget the this album is even longer and I'm going to listen to the rest of it uh, after this review. But yeah, we're reviewing six songs tonight. Um, this is song number five. Uh, fight? I'm not fighting. <laughs> five, I mean. Uh, that uh, do you part. <laughs> Thought it was until death do you part. Now there's no one laying beside her How can you say that you gave her your heart? Now there's no one left here to guide her If I could, I would take my heart I would break my heart into two Father, what will happen when your daughter grows up? Now there's no one to walk her down the aisle. If I could, I would take my heart, I would break my heart into two. If I could, I would take one part, I would have my heart into you. I'm hurting, hurting, I 
I'm really enjoying this review. This was an, also an, an awesome song. I, I really enjoyed it. It comes back to the brighter sound, the thing that I was talking about, the other songs, the three and four sound, sounded a little bit more darker to me, but I just me getting it thick ignores that this was really good and all the other songs has been really good, but probably this one has been my favorite so far. Really nice electric guitars, the vocals amazing as always as I we've been listening on the other songs really nice vocals uh, it has a really nice hook i really love the chorus it's like really catchy i was like totally vibing with it and so yeah it's a great first impression that i'm having with this song um i really love the the sound of, of the band many great sweats is like uh, really organic but professional and it's kind of weird to explain because I don't listen a lot to acoustic music, but this has the acoustic, the nice drums, that everything sounds like so real. And nowadays that everything is done by a computer, I guess, uh, it sounds so real and it's fresh and in that sense. And of course, I'm loving the vocals on all of the songs. And uh, yeah, this one was one of my favorites, it's not my f if not my favorite so far. So yeah, let's go with our last song um, for this review. Remember, the album is longer. Um, I'm going after it, uh, after the review, I'm going to listen to it because I'm enjoying it so far. So I want to check out uh, how, the, how is the rest of the vibe or this concept. Um, yeah, we're going to our sixth uh, song, uh, Top Shelf Champagne. It's coming down hard, rain like a sea fire hurricane. Yeah, flying real low like a B2 warplane. I'm coming in hard, introduce myself. We can chat all night long, tipping top shelf champagne. really nice i was talking about the organic feeling of all the what i've listened from the album but this is totally different this goes with the more electronic sound but sounds really well 
and fits really well with the album. It's a really nice uh, Switch, uh, no pun intended. And I was watching my Nintendo Switch there. <laughs> it's a, a really nice Switch from what I've been listening to with the other songs, but it's still keeping the amazing vocals, sounds really great. And it's like a little bit like the, I wouldn't say the, the samey actually, but it's like uh, the other track structures but taken to an electronic context and it sounds really well and was really enjoyable actually so yeah it's it's really f refreshing especially if we're going to have a longer album uh, putting a track like this uh, sets it apart from the rest even if they're all the tracks have their personality uh, that's for sure they they don't sound the same um they they have their own personality is each, each one but it has kept a style this break the mold and make it different but it somehow managed uh, to still fit with the concept of the album and that's pretty great really enjoyable and it's a nice surprise and a nice way to close this review so uh, men in gray sweats really nice uh, organic sound and even electronic sounds uh, these are tracks are part of the album uh, the bulge um yeah i don't remember no i guess i remember that I, I have a lot of fun reviewing some music a couple of days but this is, is so refreshing and makes it this reviewing work uh, really fun to discover musicians like this so talented and making great music out there so yeah it's nice to discover uh, things like this and this is what i enjoy making this uh, uh, absolutely so this was a really nice review many great sweats um yeah it's a dynamic duo they they're pretty dynamic actually so yeah i pretty enjoyed this one uh, thank you for sending me this and i really enjoyed this this uh, a beginning of the album i'm going to listen to the rest after after this but yeah really nice uh, i want to listen more and i think that's really important for an artist when you can hook someone and make them want to listen more of it and yeah i'm hooked with this album i really enjoyed this one and yeah i guess thank you for sending me this uh, well, i hope to see you in another video um, bye this was really fun <laughs>